Hello and welcome. This video is actually something you guys chose on my Instagram stories. I asked y'all if you'd rather see vintage clothing organization or freemium dishes, my freemium dish haul, and you guys chose vintage clothing. Don't worry for those of you that voted for the freemium dishes, that's just gonna be the next video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you are so inclined, you do you. But I am trying to be more active over there and get you all more involved in what happens here. So I recently picked up a giant pile of vintage clothing. And when I say a pile, I mean it is actually a pile currently on my floor, which is not good for it, uh, but that's literally been the only place I could put it because as you guys know, I have been working on dehoarding my home. I have finally gotten through almost all of the pants that was in my uh, eBay room and also in my bedroom. And I've saved a couple pants not to list yet because they are vintage as well and I kind of want to use them for styling when I go through these vintage clothes. So I have no idea how many pieces there are. I paid $106 for everything. I stopped counting after 100 but I am going to count that today. That's part of what I want to do now. Also, I have this antique quilter slash clothes drying rack that... Uh, the boy's neighbors gave to me. So the, the boy lives in a historic neighborhood and all of his neighbors are absolutely wonderful. <laughs> like they are like the nicest people. Uh, Tina is the one that gave this to me. Um, Al has been so encouraging. Al and Judy both have been super encouraging throughout like my reselling. They're always excited when I go to a state sale to see what I picked up. So Al also sometimes watches my videos. So Al, hi. <laughs> and um, Tommy is actually who gave me all of the freemium dishes that'll be in a later video. So super wonderful neighbors. And she gave me this and I thought that it would be maybe a good solution uh, to help me try to sort out these vintage clothes. That's because my double rack is still very, very full as you guys saw in my eBay room. So I kind of need another solution and I'm hoping this is it. It is, it is antique. So it is a little, little rocky, but when it's all the way out, it kind of becomes more stable and it is for clothes. So it's lasted over a hundred years. <laughs> Hopefully I won't break it. But the problem is, is where I want this to be staged is actually where the clothes are right now. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, double move the clothes so I can open this up. So that's what we are going to do first. And again, unfortunately, because this is the only area that I've really cleaned out from my dehoarding, this is where they're gonna go. But they're gonna go back where they are now, which is over there, uh, hopefully on that rack. So I have to move them here first. There's Miss Moxie coming to make sure I'm, I'm doing good work. Um, so we're gonna move them here so I can move them back there, but hung up. And the reason why I have to separate and organize them is one, because I actually want to know how many pieces I managed to get for $106. But two is because not all the pieces were together. So this house had very full closets. The clothing ranged anywhere from the 50s all the way to, you know, modern times, but I didn't pick up any of the modern clothing. I literally picked up all of, like, most of the vintage stuff I could. And... Uh, not all of it was together. So there are some Pendleton suits and some other vintage suit sets that weren't all in the same place. So like a skirt would be in one place and a pants and a jacket would be in different closets. So they're not all in the same place in the pile. So I'm, I'm trying, I need to do some matchy match to figure out what goes together because a lot of these suits um, not only have a jacket, like a beautiful jacket, but also have a matching skirt and pant, which if you if you've ever like bought or sold vintage before finding all three pieces together super rare finding all like multiples <laughs> of all three together extraordinary like i am so chuffed i was able to purchase this uh and i just want to see how excited this is going to be so i know moxie i'm talking too much let's just start working
Okay, you see how big this pile is, right? And this is what I'm talking about where there's like matching things. So this is like a leisure suit. And then you have this, which is like a shirt and a skirt that matches. And there's like several of them. But all that was just one stack. I have four of them. <laughs> So now that I've made a little bit of space here, I'm going to put up that antique thing and just like accordion it out and see what I can do here. Okay, that a uh, thousand percent did not work at all. So another reason why I had wanted to do all of the pants before starting this project is because she decided to to do this the cheap way, which, you know, we love a, a thrifty queen, but she would use these wire hangers and then use wooden clothespins to attach it, which, you know, works, but I viscerally hate wire hangers. So unfortunately I don't have enough <laughs> to do anything else with, but for some of these, I'm at least going to be able to donate the wire hangers. As far as the clothespins go, I might just like save them I have a bunch of myself but just like I don't know at the end see how many of these I have and put these up on eBay because these are also vintage ones as well and it's not gonna focus it's focusing on the puppy dog which you know fair but these are also vintage clothes pants so I'm just going to like match them up look at how cool this stuff is like this is one I already did like look at this Look at how amazing this is. But like I said, it's so much work. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do just one section. Let me try. I felt like I had to give you all a scope of why I bought all of this is because I can model almost all of it. it almost all of it fits me. This is one of the sets, as you can tell. And it's green and look how cute it is. It's a little bit, a little bit squished, a little bit tight here, but I can squeeze into it and model it. So when I make my Etsy posting, I can, you know, do a short video and show like how it wears. But isn't this adorable? I think so, Boxy, you know what? Oh my goodness, I love it. And it's so swishy, swishy. Okay, I'm getting distracted, but I felt like I needed to at least try one of the fits on for you guys. So let me put my other clothes back on. <laughs> okay, so I just encountered my first like complete set. Like this is another thing, like this is, this is all gonna have to get recycled. But that's another reason why I picked this up is because this woman took care of her stuff. She never got rid of a single piece of clothing from the time that she was an adult and like the, the late 40s, early 50s. But uh, this woman had style, like, to the nines. And she kept everything, like, she dry cleaned everything. She kept everything together. Well, she kept everything not always together, which is why we're having to do this organization. But this is one of the things that was together. We have this beautiful, like, buttercup yellow uh, Choice by Butte suit with two skirt options. So this is why I'm talking about like, it's not even just pants. I think there's also pants that go with this too, but I think it's in the pile. But it's two skirt options. So you have like the flat front, right? Matching belt, and then you have a pleated skirt. But all this goes together. And it's, <laughs> it's amazing. And that's how come I was just like, okay, fine. I have to buy all of it. There was um, two other vintage sellers uh, that I mentioned before there. One of them like bought all of the shoes, which fine, she can have them. A lot of them were dry rotted and need to be cobbled, but she can do that. And I'm just like, I'm just getting giddy again, just going through this one little tiny stack of clothes. It's just, I love vintage so much and it makes me so happy and I'm definitely probably going to end up keeping some of these pieces. And this is why I wanted to clean up my house because I want to be a vintage Instabaddy and I can't do that without a good background <laughs> because I have to take all the photographs myself. So 
and currently I do not have a good background but I am just my heart is making so happy so thank you all for voted for this don't worry I'll probably also be geeking out with the dishes too but okay so I have quickly realized that what I had hoped would work does not so what I've done is I've already pulled the suit sets I was able to make oh look at the lighting change isn't that nice hold on let me fix that eh, it's okay so what I have done is I have pulled this out so I at least have a little bit of actual hanger space. This, this over is all not stuff from this vintage haul. This here is all sets. So we have four piece set, some three piece sets, and these are all two piece sets. And then let me show you what's downstairs. So we have our mountain of plastic. Don't worry, I will put this in the recycling. This can be recycled like you do your plastic grocery bags. So that's gonna happen. But I've piled skirts here that might have a match. Uh, I've already matched a couple of things that were in the skirt, skirt sets up, that were in the suit sets upstairs. This, I think, has a bottom that goes with it. I haven't quite figured it out, but she put this together, so I'm pretty sure that this, to her, was an outfit and went with one, like, a skirt from somewhere in the pile. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? I love this. And then I have shirts. <laughs> I'm going to sort these between short sleeve and long sleeve. Um, and then I also think some of these might belong to sets as well. So I'm not going to do anything with them yet until I absolutely know that they don't have a set that goes with them. But this is how I'm keeping track of it. So here are the mugs I bought. So I bought four mugs, the spoon and fork, which is hanging right there. You guys can't see it right there. I have two purses, which are in the pile. And I also have one Afghan, which is right here. Uh, I needed to mark that. Let's mark that real quick. All right, so, so far I have three short sleeve tops that I've listed, two long sleeve tops that I listed that I know aren't part of anything else. I have 12 two piece suit sets, three three piece suit sets, and one four piece suit sets. So if you put all this together, right? Just the stuff that I have counted. So those suit sets, the spoon and fork, the, the mugs and stuff. My average cost, so it's a total of 29 pieces. My average cost without any of this pile or that pile or that giant pile on the floor is $3.65, which is thrift store prices. And that's not including everything else. And again, I'm counting the suit sets as a set. So that's one item, but it's like two, three, four items at a time. So this, this is a lot and I am, I don't think I'll ever be able to find a deal this good again, ever and I'm like losing my mind actually. <laughs> I'm like giddy how happy I am with this. This this is not gonna be a one video type of deal -y. It's It's just not, uh, I had no <laughs> reservations that it was going to be because this is, this is too much. But I do wanna share uh, a couple of resources with you as far as vintage clothing goes. So a couple of labels that I like to look out for. We all know Pendleton, um, That that's just one I get. There is another line of Pendleton called Country Sophisticates, which says Country Sophisticates by Pendleton in most of them. So those are two vintage labels that I definitely look out for. This is another one. When I saw a whole bunch of them, I got really excited. So Choice or Choice by Boot, which you guys seen before in one of the suit sets. Um, this was a brand that was one of the largest women's manufacturing companies in the 60s and 70s. And you can tell by the lapels here that this one is a 70s piece, um, but that's one of the labels I look out for as well. This Alex Coleman sportswear, again, super large, floppy, floppy collars. This is going to be from the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, what else do we got here? So we have Corette of California. This is another vintage label. I know y'all find tons of this at the thrift store for like 80s piece with giant um, shoulder pads, 90s pieces as well. But Corette's actually an older uh, company than most people give it credit for. Corette of California is actually a brand that was started in 1939. And 
This particular label is from the 70s. I can show you one from the late 70s, early 80s. So this is one of the two-piece sets from Coretto, California, and this is the label from the late 70s, early 80s. So this is personal. Uh, you guys have seen in one of my What Sold videos, I sold a personal sweater from the 90s as well. This is another vintage brand that I look out for. And then another one is Breckenridge, which is this one here. But I do want to stress the importance that when it comes to vintage, while some brands are exceptionally important, the majority of vintage that I sell is purely on vibes alone. Like, it has to fit a certain aesthetic, it has to fit a certain style. Like, if it is something where you look at it and you're like, oh, that is definitely from the 70s. Oh, that is definitely from the 60s. Oh my god, that is definitely from, like, 1950 Housewife vibes. That, like, the stereotypical stuff that you would have seen in fashion magazines at the time, that is what I look for in vintage. And, and literally, that's what this is. I, uh, this is something that if you're looking at selling vintage, you kind of just get a feel for. Uh, I do watch and consume a lot of history bounding. Um, people that actually make clothes in certain styles. Another resource that I use to like give you like all the information that I gave to you guys about the labels that I showed you is all from Vintage uh, Label Fashion Guild. I will link that uh, resource down below and I'll also try to remember to put it in a pinned comment. But that get, is a great resource where if you're seeing something where you're like, that looks, that looks vintage and like cool and something that I think I wanna sell, that's a great resource to kind of figure out what time period it's from if you don't have a whole lot of knowledge of vintage clothing to begin with. Another thing if you're selling vintage and again like I said I want to be I want to be a vintage insta baddie. Aesthetic like making like styling the clothes helps sell them. I've seen plenty of accounts like vintage accounts where they style the outfit on a mannequin or on themselves if, if they can fit it and then they say put up for sale and then put so like the price and then a link with the measurements and like it sells within a week so if you can make it instagram worthy or something that like someone doesn't have to think about how how am i going to get this vintage piece and how am i going to style it in my wardrobe that also helps when selling vintage as well and you don't just have to style it vintage like these suit sets are going to be super easy for me to style but if you just have one piece you can try to figure out how would you style it like someone who mixes modern and vintage together. Uh, I mean, that's what most people do when they're when they pick up these vintage pieces as they try to style it in a modern way. You know, do that for them and it helps. At least I think it helps. You guys have seen me sell plenty of pieces of clothing that I've modeled, um, but I hope you all understand that there is a lot here. There is a lot here. There are so many things here. But it's honestly just not feasible for me to go through all of this plus the pile that was there in a day like that <laughs> i just don't have the spoons for that as a disabled person just to give you an understanding and scope of scale i just counted these shirts in this pile that i don't know if they have a set with them or not there's 39 shirts here there's 11 skirts here all right, that's 50, 50, 50 pieces in addition to the 29 like suit sets and other stuff and not including this. So just in that one stack of stuff alone, there was over a hundred pieces of clothing, like individual pieces of clothing. So this is just, <laughs> this is gonna be a long project, a very long project. So I do hope you guys will be patient with me and understand where uh, I couldn't do everything in this video and I hope you guys will watch my next one and I hope some of this vintage information was interesting for y'all. I do very much love selling vintage. It can take a little while but again styling makes it faster and I will see you guys uh, in a couple days for my next video. Bye! Bye. I should also mention that if you guys saw anything in the video today that you maybe wanted for yourself, I uh, my, my Instagrams are linked here, so just DM me, they're always open. So, thanks again, bye!